Hello, my name is Kevin Johnson. This is Activity 1A. I will give a brief description of our library and my role in it. Osaka YMCA International School in Osaka, Japan is a new school. Now we're in our 11th year. I'm in my eighth consecutive year teaching here and my first year as librarian. Last June, we received our PYP authorization and we are now an IBO World School for PYP from preschool to grade five. This year we also have a junior high with grade six and seven and next year the junior high will extend to include a grade eight. Now the junior high is on a separate curriculum and so my role in the school is to develop the collection to better reflect our needs as a PYP school and also as a junior high. As I will soon show you, our collection is uh, rather small and the nonfiction resources are underrepresented. We have uh, relative abundance of fiction, but we need to grow and develop our nonfiction resources to support the PYP and also the junior high. My role is to work with my colleagues, both teachers and administration, in a collaborative fashion to develop the library collection in all its ways to better reflect our needs. Now I'll show you the physical collection here. Of course there are some audiovisual collections that needs to be developed and also the online computer based. And our computer room is in a separate area. We're also moving towards trying to get more connectivity to the web uh, through the school and we have a group working on that question right now. My role is partly to instruct the children as well and as a librarian teacher I hope to develop inquiry skills and also base my approaches on constructivism and I want the kids to learn how to do the research and I can support what they're doing in their class as well with relevant material that um, enhances what they're doing in the PYP class and the junior high classroom. Uh, lastly, I also uh, have done some independent reading. I'm new as a librarian and I visited a colleague uh, with some other colleagues last year at a neighboring school and to learn more about the job. But also, of course, through this workshop, I hope to learn more and welcome everyone's support uh, in the process. So thank you and goodbye for now. Currently, I've got the uh, zero zeros. I'm implementing the Dewey Decimal System over here and some other selected books, uh, encyclopedias there. Uh, here's the whiteboard, and over here is a nonfiction collection. Currently, I have the Dewey Decimal System designations, but uh, the collection somewhat depleted because of teacher and student use is rather small, as you can see. This is the nonfiction items that are collected and we have separate areas for early childhood and also for biography. The biography is over here and some new books up there will go and the biography section is there and these are some readers here and then also over here and then some Japanese books and soon I'll show you the much more extensive fiction collection how that's organized at present. Okay, once again there are some more selection of readers there uh, once again, here are the collection of the leveled readers. Uh, there are the uh, Japanese books there. We, of course, are in Japan and Osaka. And here's the fiction. And right now you have uh, alphabetical ordering by author. And you have an upper tier with the yellow labels. And it extends over here. There's also collections such as Harry Potter and Magic School Bus. So you have an upper tier there with the yellow labels, and those are the higher level books. They're all grade level rated. And below is another tier of fiction, which is also alphabetically ordered. The fiction, as you can see, is much more extensive than the nonfiction. And so the nonfiction is an area where we need to really develop and grow the collection. And early childhood right now is rather arbitrarily organized. We're going to move it towards the Dewey Decimal System as well. And uh, 
The books are organized in these lower shelves for the little children for the early childhood collection. Right now on those shelves, some of the magazines are here that we have. So that's basically it right now for our school and how it's developing. We use Library World is the software we're using now, which is fine for the collection as it stands. And we're going to move towards the proper inputting of the data there. Some of the books aren't properly inputted. And also towards scanning and having the labels printed. So that's where we're moving here uh, in the interim, towards the due decimal system and getting the library world up to speed and printing labels.